Hey, it's Bill with St. Peter Woodworking. So this time I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I'm, I'm making molding. I'm making specialty molding, which is another part of our business that we started probably 15 years ago or so, just so I could do everything wood basically. So I could do moldings and carvings and tables and desks and kitchens and vanities and end tables and sofa tables and conference tables, hutches, you know, basically anything wood. So in this case, we actually have this molding machine we can have our knives specialty made to fit the moldings that the people are actually needing to, to, to match. That's a great feature with this machine. I've had this, this, this machine for probably 15 years. At the time, I could not afford a $100,000, $150,000 molding machine. People laughed at me when I, when I was buying a small molding machine and asking me, you know, why are you going so cheap on your molding? 15 years later, $150,000 later, this is why, because it's still running. We're still using it all the time. And this, this job is kind of special to me. This is actually going into a house that I grew up in as a kid up in Vermont. And my best friend is actually kind of restoring the house and getting it kind of snuffed up. He needed a few pieces of trim uh, where they were painting and, and taking the trim off, doing some stuff. It broke a few pieces. So this isn't a high volume job. It's only a couple little pieces. And you can spend a little bit more money on the knives for maybe 20 feet of wood. But if you need to match, you know, what you have and you can't find it, this is what we do. This, this is why we do it. So... Just getting the machine all set up and dialed in. I have a friend that has a molding machine, which he paid top dollar for. It sometimes takes four to five hours to put a new set of knives in it. I can usually do it within 10 minutes. So this is one, I just put this set of knives in. I took an old set out that I, some other stuff we were running a couple of weeks ago, getting everything ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and start running the molding through. We start running it through and I'll always run a test piece. As you can see, there's a knot on that piece because a lot of people are gonna say, wait, that's got a knot. Why are you running molding with a knot? This is just my test piece. I'm gonna run that one through first and make sure everything's dialed in. Looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and run it. So again, this is a machine it's not something that, you know, we're trying to put out thousands and thousands of feet every day. Uh, I've had this machine again, like 15 years. We do specialty types of moldings and I've, I've probably run, I want to say over well over a hundred thousand, 150,000 feet through this machine. And I don't think I've ever done anything to it. It's my little money maker. So getting the molding run through this thing, this molding was a specialty molding because this is what they call picture rail molding, where in the olden days, they would actually run a piece of molding about two thirds up the wall. And they, they had a hook. They could, they could actually hook on this molding to hang all the pictures. So this one has a back set on it, which I actually could have put that router bit in my molding machine. And I have routers in there and it would have done it. But it would have taken me a little bit longer to set it all up. Um, and for only like 20 feet of molding, I just decided to, just to do it on my router table. So getting the router in there and getting this thing ready to go. And I'm going to start putting the back set on it. I always cut my moldings a little wide. Even the knives, when they make the knives, they're a little wide and I can fine tune everything when I'm all done with everything on the table saw. So I'll do that at the end, but there was actually two different moldings here. Again, just getting the second molding out, double checking the knives, which I really don't need to do because these guys are like perfect every time. And we're gonna go ahead and start sending this other set of moldings through, getting them cut. And again, you're looking at it like, well, that's not, you know, there's only four pieces of molding. The cutters probably cost almost $200 just for the two cutters for four pieces of molding. But if you're trying to restore something back to its natural state, this is what you have to do. But here we are just taking everything down to that perfect size. I'm barely taking anything off the molding. I was giving it a little bit of room for the for the knives to work through the molding machine. And I basically got it perfect here. So double checking everything, making sure it's exact. And it is basically exact. It's almost better than, than the original. So everything looks perfect here and these things are ready to go. So one more thing we do here at St. Pierre Woodworking. Now, if you want to see us turning an old barn into bunk beds, check this out.